Um, hi, Pat Gallagher again. Uh, you know, I'd like to uh, show you a new technique tonight. Um, uh, I'm going to like to show you how to do a two-handed uh, decoration of a Celtic cross. Now, generally, I usually have my circles and all the different things are usually the cups and tea saucers uh, in my closet. So I have a cup here. So we're going to make the circle. Now, a Celtic cross is, is a very ancient symbol. Um, thousands of years old. It becomes called the Celtic cross um, at the advent of Christianity. Um, it's always good to change the names to protect the innocent. So here we're going to make the arms of the cross. Just use my the width of my ruler. I'm going to kind of center in here. Now in ancient times, this, this symbol of the, uh, the cross and the circle um, was a symbol for healing. So we have the basic thing. So now I'm gonna, gonna cut off the top. I'd like to try and make those even. And then the extension goes all the way down. I think we're off the page here. Uh, maybe not, who knows. So then we have the holes in the center. They're called the volutes or the volutes. And there's where we see through. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Um, I have to use a salt shaker, I guess, for the middle there. Um, you can erase some of these lines or do different things, but we, now we have uh, this section in here and we have the outer sections. And I usually like to do the circle first. And um, let's see what we can do here. Now, a lot of these times it doesn't work. You know, you have to kind of try it and get your practicing going on. But usually if you start in a corner, and you give yourself a little space and then shoot for another corner, you have a tendency to perhaps make it come together. That was a pretty nice one. Okay, so let's start here this time. Coming in. And we'll just make a simple one there. Okay, so now uh, um, we also have coming down the arms. Now sometimes in the center of a cross is a circle area, which they would have a boss or a different thing. You know, it makes the focus of the meditation go in there. So I kind of like to delineate that a little bit. So we're going to start up at the top and work our way down. I tend to... Uh, on a narrow thing like this, work, work in, work out, and then as we come around the corner, make a large sweep. Don't forget to put your points and your rounds in there. Then we're coming in. Okay, and then here's another sweeping area. And then here, we can, you can repeat the design coming down, or you can go up. You can connect. You can start another one. And work your way down. Okay, so then after you have your design, let's go work right in here. This one came out the nicest. Then, well, let's get a darker color too. And then you get in here and then you can start your under and over process. Now, I usually like to work uh, large when I do these kind of things so that it gives me some room to move around. The smaller you work, the more limited you are and of course the sharper your pencil must become. So here we go. Here. So we have that side and then you know don't forget to fill in. You also have a chance as you work with the design to um, you know polish up your uh, your design a little bit here like connect that circle there get in here
when you have an open area of course that's a great opportunity for putting a little circle in there maybe one up here one here okay so I'm just going to kind of work our way around here now some people find this very complicated it's actually so easy it's hard and now I have said that before and people go Pat you keep saying that but you know it's so true you know you're you're meditating as you move along now if you really want to you know have it be very perfect and symmetrical um, you can lay out more grid lines you can uh, do all different kinds of things so here we are under have to concentrate on that over okay and then under over you want to kind of maintain that as you as you work your way down so on this side we're, we're over see it's opposite over so the under is going to be here we're coming under so we go under so then now we're off to the off to the right side here now I usually do the pathway you know a little faster and then when I come in and do the under and over layout you know I kind of concentrate on it and, and try and clean it up and make it look nicer and you'll notice that I kind of work all over the place because well I'm kind of a crazy person and you know this keeps me in line here doing this okay there's the magic of the unders and overs okay now let's see here let's do the other side let's go the other way give you a nice sense of, of what's happening here now I'm trying not to say anything controversial so if you want more on the history of the Celtic cross there are plenty of material um, that you can get reference there's a lot of different opinions about the origin and the symbols of all things Celtic so if you ever want to have an argument with yourself uh, just read a couple different books on Celtic culture and you'll have many different opinions to worry about um, I found that making the art there was you know I would read all kinds of history books but they all had the same pictures in them so I said well you know what I'll just start to make the artwork and that will uh, keep me in line imitation being the sincerest form of flattery now when I make a nice cross for a church um, you know it can take many many weeks of polishing the design and balancing it and making it perfect and uh, you know all the different aspects of Western art and culture and history that everybody brings to the table um, you certainly need to you know have together there so so now we're starting to go down down the post as it's called okay and yeah, I guess we can keep going here You know, and at some point when you're making your Celtic cross, you do need to um, go out and work the edge so that you can figure out you know, where it is. The circle in the background, I usually like to have kind of a recessed effect.
And a lot of times too, um, you can have a, a little double line out here. On some of the ancient carved crosses, there'd be a nice rope pattern out here that was always very nice. So, and we can keep going forever. Thank you.